And continuing on the river loop <coughs> to the sound of black birds checking us out. Looks like it might be a sphagnum marsh or a little bog around it. Woven web. Two black lighters, one yours? Hmm? Now we're going to come out and come up next to the road. Do you want to do that or we want to go back to where we came? Or? No, we're basically we're doing a loop. Yeah, yeah. So we'll end up. That's going to go right by the road. This will be all right. Okay. Oh, there's the road. Cool. <laughs> and shiny. <laughs> uh, more bracket fungi. Yeah. And the end of the boardwalk. And back to the field we go. <coughs> and another cozy log. Right. Another good sitting log. They're everywhere here. That's one thing the Audubon does well. They take care of us stuffers. They love geezers. River loop comes up there with the requisite cozy bench. We went in over by the stone wall, came all the way up that way. There's the manor house where the parking lot is. And we're more or less following along the field edge back to the parking lot. Apple cherry family things starting to blossom. And a noisy din of the road. Sitting logs are well distributed. Yeah. They knew I was coming. They know we're old. <laughs> they knew I was coming. Yeah, some more old Atlantic white cedar survivors. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what they are. Something, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're in the home stretch following the field edge 
to the parking lot just beyond that manor home. The roar of the traffic increases. The clock is ticking. And the neotropicals have yet to arrive. And our last slow pan, there's a wind turbine, swallow martin, bird feeder things, a big open field that may soon ring with bobolink, the manor house and the stone wall, and the busy road going by. at the completion of the loop, just up ahead. <laughs> Blackbirds are loving life.